So my Phalaenopsis is blue. She is in her vegetative state, meaning that she is growing um, new roots and she just dropped a new leaf. You probably saw it in a previous video. Now, Fail Pal, she had just lost a leaf in a previous video, and as you can see, she is losing a leaf now. Now, the Phalaenopsis orchid should not lose any more than three leaves a year. Typically, they would use, lose about two, and that is going to be them um, getting the phosphorus from this leaf and storing it in a place where it is going to use it to produce a new leaf. Now, the reason that I say that my Phalaenopsis is dying is because just the rate that she is pulling the nutrients from this, um, from this, um, from her bottom leaves, um, you guys, do you think I should pull her out of the pot or if I should leave her in here and give her more time? Now, if you can see this leaf right here, it appears to be fine, but um, an experienced grower as I am becoming, I'm able to tell that she is surely pulling nutrients from this one as well. Um, if I was able to, I would be able to let you guys see that it was a little bit translucent, but I'm not able to do so with my background being so dark. Now, Fail Pals, I just want you to honor my Phalaenopsis Blue and stay tuned as we try to unravel and unveil the pathology of my Phalaenopsis because I just lost my second Phalaenopsis pinky. So um, I want you guys to all know that I have a Fail Pal group on Facebook that is very supportive in times like this. And we are going to get through this, but we are going to get through it the right so way. So today is May 4th and um, my beautiful Phalaenopsis Blue is dying more and more because as I told you, the leaves of, the, of a Phalaenopsis should only lose about two, three at the most per year. And um, this is definitely her second leaf in just um, a week. So that is very abnormal. And um, <clears throat> I'm scared to move her because as soon as I move her, that other leaf will fall off. But Fail Pals, come on 4K, I need you. It's a slight discoloration right above here, letting you know that, that this leaf is going to be the next to come off. I don't understand how the root system could look so well and she just all of a sudden declined. Now, Fail Pals, if I must be honest, like my Fail Pal Amy, who said water culture is no longer effective, my Phalaenopsis orchid, when I did the repotting, I'll leave a link above to that video, but the bark that is in, I soaked it in calcium before um, I did it, and so maybe that contributed or is the main factor of why this phalaen my phalaenopsis blue and pinky took a turn for the worse all right fail pals stay tuned hey fail pals so it's been another seven days and um now the leaves have um been ready to come off but like i said i've been scared to touch them so i'm gonna let my husband do it hopefully just the two maybe she's just getting all the energy she can to produce roots um, to maintain herself, but honey, I'm not gonna touch it. Okay, babe, come on, get it. Yes, honey, we, hopefully she'll pull it through. I have not watered her because I'm scared to touch it. They just gonna come right off. I just don't like touching stuff like that. Okay, foul pals, so let's see. I don't know, Fail Pills, but we keeping an eye on her. Um, I probably um, go ahead and water her, and um, I don't know. I don't know. Stay yeah, Fail Pills, it's that time, honey. Blue is gone. I am somber. We got back from Redlands, and honey, Blue was just taken away. 
Now, I am not sure what the cause could be. I will leave all of the videos and you guys will be the detective, darling. But um, as I can recall, I did coat um, these bark chips with calcium overnight, which is, I guess, honey, I was trying it. And also, you have had people to say that the smooth surfaces um, touching the roots is not good for your Phalaenopsis orchid. Well, Fal Pals, honey, blue is gone. My first orchid just add ice. I'm really somber, but honey, just stay tuned for that orchid haul, baby. Stay tuned.